Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Linux onto uh, Hyper-V and then on my next video I will show you how to install it on VirtualBox. So Hyper-V is a Windows feature that is only available on Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Enterprise, or Windows 10 Educational. So if you have either of those, you're going to want to search up Windows Features Then click on where it says turn Windows features on or off. Click yes. And you're going to want to make sure Hyper-V is selected. <coughs> Excuse me. So I already have it installed, but for you it's going to be like that. So you're going to want to check it. Click OK. And then it's going to ask you to restart the computer. So once the computer is restarted, and you're also going to make sure you have an administrator account. It will not work on a limited account. So if you have administrator privileges, then just search up hyper-v and you'll see Hyper-V Manager. So this is going to, this is going to open up the Hyper-V hypervisor. So as you can see, I already have a virtual machine made, but we're going to click Action, New, Virtual Machine. And click Next. So I'm going to name this just Test VM. You're going to want to choose where you want to save it to. I'm going to save mine over here just to test. Click Next. Choose Generation 2. Startup memory. I'm going to use 2 gigs of RAM. Connection. Don't worry about this just yet. For this is for your virtual hard drive. This is what's going to store all of the files. So depending on how much size you want, I'm just going to name mine uh, testvm.vhd. I'm going to save mine in VHD test on my D drive. For size, I'm just going to say for me 50 gigs. You choose whatever size you want. Then click next. Then you're going to want to click on install an operating system from a bootable image. So you're going to want to install Ubuntu. I'll put the, I'll put the website in the description. It's uh, www.ubuntu.com. Then you click Downloads. Choose Ubuntu Desktop. Then Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Then choose Download. Don't worry about any of that, just click uh, continue to the download. So I already have mine installed, but we're downloaded, so you just save that. Uh, I saved mine to the desktop. So once that's done downloading, then you're going to want to click on install an operating system from a bootable image. Find where that uh, ISO is, mine's on the desktop. Choose Ubuntu desktop amd.iso, click open, then choose next, finish, let that finish. All right, now your next step you're going to want to do is click on virtual switch manager, new virtual network switch, external, create virtual switch. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it test virtual switch. Choose external network and then choose your network adapter card. So I'm plugged straight into uh, this gigabit ethernet. Yours is going to be different. If you don't know which one it is, you can open up CMD as an admi administrator. And then search up IP config. Slash all. Well, maybe it's not going to show here, but. All right, there we go. See, mine says killer E2200 gigabit ethernet. Yeah, I'll have to blur out that later, <laughs> the MAC address, but. Yeah, once you find out which one it is, 
then you choose that as your external network, then click apply. Yes. And then click OK. After you're done doing that, you're going to want to click on make sure test VM is selected, then click settings. Go down. Well, first we're going to want to click on security. And we're going to uncheck enable secure boot. And then click apply. Then for memory, we're going to use two gigs for startup. Minimum two gigs. You can use one gig if you want, depending on how much you want to use. I'm just going to be using four gigs for mine. So two gigs minimum, four gigs max, 20% medium, apply. Next you're going to want to click on processor, choose as many virtual processors you want to be used for the VM. I'm just going to click two. You can choose as many as you'd like, depending on what kind of processor you have. Then click on SCSI, actually no, we already did that. So click on network adapter. Then you're going to want to click under virtual switch, choose your switch that you made. So test virtual switch, yours might be different. You can, you can enable bandwidth management if you want, there's really no need. Click apply, then okay. So now that, that that's all set up. As you can see right now, state is off. So if you right click on it and then choose connect, it'll bring up the screen. So this VM is basically running a virtual machine and it's basically acting like a real computer right now. So right now the computer is off. So you're gonna to wanna to choose start. The VM will start and it's going to load the ISO. Oh. Not sure what's happened there. It's not going to do that. Well, I might have actually just done it on its own. Yeah. So you're just going to want to click install Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. Try and make this fit here. So you're going to want to choose your language, English, continue, unless you have a different language preference. Then click continue. Uh, I just chose minimal installation. Yeah, I don't need all the, all the different stuff, but you can definitely choose normal if you want. It's just going to be a more lightweight version if you choose minimal. You can choose the download updates, continue. So we erase disk and install Ubuntu. So you're going to want that checked. The VHD that we made is what's, what's going to be erased. It's not going to erase your hard drive. So click install now. It's going to tell you which uh, partition it's going to use. Gonna make two partitions, one for the data, and the second one is gonna be used for uh, basically memory swap in case you run out of RAM. So you choose continue. Where are you? Oh. I'm in Moncton. So then you just want to fill this out. Choose your name. You can change your computer name if you want. I'm just going to name it test. Username is going to be admin. Password will be whatever you want to choose. You can choose a login, whichever, next. 
Oh, I can't use admin, I guess. Let's just test. Alright, so once that is done installing, just choose restart now. And it will restart the VM. Well, I might have to unmount the image and see what happens if I reset it. Well then, just click uh, media, DVD drive, eject, or I guess we're going to have to shut down the computer first, so turn off, turn off the computer, media, oh, I guess we can't do it there, we go settings, hard drive, DVD drive, oh there's none, no, that's not the problem, start. There we go. So you shouldn't run into the any problems that I did, but if yours did run into any problems when it went to restart, just turn off the computer and turn it back on. Make sure that uh, under Hyper-V Manager, under Settings, make sure that the DVD drive is no image file being run. Then click OK. Alright, so... Now, once this is all done, then Ubuntu is installed. Click test, use the password that we chose. Sign in. It'll run for the first time. And now, as you can see, we have Ubuntu running on the VM using Hyper-V Manager. Now, for the last thing, I'm just going to test to see the internet's working. And as you can see, the internet is working. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, please check my other video. If you can't run Hyper-V, I'm going to make the next video how to install it on VirtualBox. Thanks for watching. Bye.